In the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game, one of the core concepts revolves around deck building. Players can pick and choose between what they think are the best cards to optimize their strategy, and they can even upload their deck list to YouTube for feedback in order to improve their deck. But occasionally YouTube comments can be a little bit interesting, so in most cases people don't take every single comment into account when improving their deck. In this series, I'm going to be listening to every single comment over the course of five episodes and the most popular comments will be added onto a voting poll where then commenters can vote and choose what cards are added or taken out of my deck that I build while I have no creative control whatsoever. This is YouTube Plays Yu-Gi-Oh! Were there high hopes for this series? Yes. Were there also expectations that it would go down the drain? Also yes. Did it inevitably go the route that the internet decided it would? Yes. It has gone down the drain. But that is what I get for listening to the comment section. Let this be a lesson to be learned. Don't listen to the comment section. But anyway, gentlemen, before we go ahead and see what has happened to this poor Sylvan deck, like, comment, and subscribe. And because this is the last episode of this mini-series, you don't have to comment what you want to go in, what do you go out, because I ain't listening to you anymore. Thank God. But anywho, let's go and check the deck out. Ugh. <sighs> So it all comes down to this. Five episodes. I've had no control on what you guys have wanted to put in the deck. I gave you a bare bones deck and um, the change for this week, three graceful charities. So the charity are out. Three mystic minor in. We've just given, well, we never really uh, we've, we've lost all brain cells with this deck. Gradually, each week you just pulled one brain cell. We are now left with zero brain cells. That's our main deck change. Extra deck change, it's actually something competent at least. So maybe we gained a half brain cell back. But um, Nightmare Unicorn is in. So it's an in place for Dengir suit. That's actually good. You know, it's a target that we can bring out of IP, give some plays on our opponent's turn. I like this change. This is a good change. But um, Mystic Mine is. Let's just get into the games. All right, so let's get these games out of the way. Match number one, or I should say, game number one. We're going against Appliancers and. Our plays go dead in the water because our uh, Princess Sprite gets effect failed. So, um, yeah, we're just a board of convulsion of nature. Princess Sprite with a hand of hermitry, and we know we're gonna draw mine next. Luckily, though, we don't get killed, so we turn off our brains. And that actually wins us the game! Ugh. Game number two, we're going up against Gishki OTK, interestingly enough, and our plays go dead in the water because our Scorpio gets impermed. Yep, um, unfortunately also we drew into uh, Lone Fire as well, so it's luckily not the end of the world because it's just a couple of incantations on the field, so we live a turn, we get in some damage, but unfortunately we don't have much follow-up play, it's really... Yeah, it's troublesome, but this time around we do see the big old Zero Gigas, the big old Gishki level 10s, but once again, we do survive, so we turn off our brain. Two hours later. And then we realize that this is a uh, Gishki. They can just recycle their um, ritual spell back into the deck and add a ritual to hand. So um, that a whole plan of just decking them out, yeah, that doesn't work for um, against Gishki. So I have to actually try to do something, but it doesn't matter because guess what? I'm gonna deck out. I realized this deck out problem too late, so. Um, the monkey wind condition um, backfired. So, 
we don't have too much to do. I just try to get in as much little whatever damage as possible, clear out as much board, but it doesn't matter because in a couple of turns I lose. So I scoop. And we move on to the next game. Game number three, we're going against Toons. Ooh. Kaiba Boy. Yeah, this is um interesting. Toon Kingdom is a very good card, very protecting the castle. And my monkey card gets negated by the Toon Terror, so um we actually have to play the game, which is sucks because I can't really target that BL that Toon BLS, so I gotta dance around, I gotta get really interesting, dig deep into the plant combos. And um I use the high protector to actually Bounce the Toon Kingdom so that I can get into my Unicorn so I can spin away. So basically going after so much card advantage just to get rid of a Toon Kingdom and a BLS. And luckily, thank god, Summoning Sickness sick, blah, 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 blah. Summoning sickness does keep me alive for a turn. But um, yeah, next turn, Red Eyes beats over because I can't really top deck anything. However, my Field Spell mills my uh, Martial Leaf, which pops his Red Eyes. But it doesn't matter because he's got the Redstone, which can help recycle and everything. And then we turn off our brain. But there a slight problem here. I can't deck out my opponent because my opponent has more cards in his deck than I do. So we just actually have to kind of use his mind to stall a little bit so we can hopefully pull some good stuff. And it doesn't really work. We have two Sage Sequoia in our hand, which is basically dead unless we somehow are able to uh, mill cards that we may potentially be able to use. But it doesn't matter. We get OTK'd. On to game number four. Mech Knights. Shifty boys, colony boys. But this time, uh, we kind of do okay on our excavates, but we can't really. I'm trying to like claw away into Borload Savage, but it doesn't work out. So you know what? We're just going to go to IP, hope to get an Avermax, but Dark Ruler No More kind of stops that play. Luckily, I don't take damage this turn, so that's a good thing, but it doesn't matter that my board's going to be cleaned up, and um, all I got is a Convulsion of Nature and a Mystic Mine in hand, so you know what we do. Ugh. Two hours later. I get no satisfaction in this. We move to the last game against Patron J Chip from the J Chip Show, and um, yeah, we get to go first. We actually get to make a few things happen here and there, pop off using our extenders, and unfortunately, we don't get to the Savage, but we do get to a nice setup where I can spin away any cards with the newly added Nightmare Unicorn. But when you have two non once per turn monster reborns that are for in archetype. It kind of made that null and void. Granted, card advantage is down, but I don't have any comebacks and with a card like Mirror Force. Yeah. Yeah. Um. It's a, this is now a problem. And I draw a brick. Luckily, I mean, I can at least get in damage, protect myself somewhat with World of Caraway Champion, but it's not enough to extend when I draw dead cards. And, um, yeah, we inevitably get. The lose. But hey, on the plus side, we did win two by mine, unfortunately. And the record overall from this series is 5 and 19. Would I say it improved over the series? Technically, yes, but in reality, no. Even with mine, the turn off your brain auto win sometimes card, we lost some because we ran up against one of the few decks that can actually deck us out when we're trying to deck people out. And then... Yeah. Uh. You know, I had high hopes, like the Raid Raptor deck, that actually ended semi-competently. Um... This went in a different direction. This went in a completely different direction. Engines that I thought you guys might have suggested weren't really explored. Routes that could have potentially gone through more plants, good plant support or graveyard options that could have been potentially expanded upon didn't take root, pun intended. Uh, 
Will I revisit Sylvan's? Probably not for a while just because of what happened in the series and a little PTSD, but I'll at some point probably retweak the deck. Something more of my liking. Something more good, playable. I don't know how you want to word it. But either way, yet another Let's Play Sylvan's comes to a close, and that ends this series for YouTube Plays Yu Gi Oh! I don't think I'm gonna be doing another one for a while. The taste kinda got sour in my mouth, especially when it went to the mine. But we move because there's always more content in the future and we must stay positive. So thank you guys for, oh my God, I hit the mic. Woo! But thank you guys so much for participating in this series, for all your comments, for all your likes, for all the subscribes and all that fun stuff. And be sure to stay tuned for future upcoming content. And with that, I am out of here.